Gabby here with Radiant Art Inspirations. If you're new, this channel is all about easy, fun, and fast face paint tutorials. I thought I would do a part two on must-have supplies for a face painter. The first video on what every beginner face painter needs and the costs has done so well, I thought, let me go ahead and expand that video and go over some supplies that I think are an absolute must and that have definitely changed either my actual face paint work, my work ethic, and my organization as a whole. <coughs> there are a lot of supplies on my desk and I honestly have no idea where to start, but because this is a face painting channel, might as well start off with the actual face paint. For those that have not seen the first video on supplies every beginner face painter needs, I will place a card up here along with the link in the description box below. So the first thing that I've mentioned in the first video and then I'm going to go ahead and mention again are your split cakes. For those that like to make their own split cakes or when you buy individual colors you're like, what am I going to do with all this extra paint? Might as well purpose it and make split cakes. But where do I put it in? This container is a fish and tackle box that I learned from other face painters and I loved it so much several years ago. It's something that I want to talk about today. You can add up to 12 or 24 split cakes depending on which kind of fish and tackle box you get and go ahead and place them in and you're able to show your colors to the person that you're painting. But overall, I definitely love how skinny it is, how easy it is to repot, and um, it looks very clean and professional overall. Talking about split cakes, there is one brand that I am in love with right now if you do want to buy pre-made split cakes, and that is Artie Brush by Silly Farm. Can you see that? Look how beautiful these colors are. Oh my goodness. These split cakes are so creamy. You only need to apply your angle brush or your flat brush just a few times, and then you apply it on the face, and it's so opaque. It's so creamy and beautiful, and if you're really going to invest in split cakes and you don't really know where to look, I will say Artie Brush Split Cakes are fire. They are amazing. One thing that I didn't mention in my first video that I am going to say now is glitter. Glitter is definitely essential, but just not something that I brought up, right? I have done a separate video on cream glitter versus gel glitter, what's the difference? And for those that do not know the difference or want to watch the video, I will also place a link in the description box below. And with that being said, one glitter that I love and I cannot live without is Vivid Glitter. This one is Gleam. And you can apply this directly onto paint and it doesn't smudge. It's amazing. It's absolutely fantastic. And here is a zoom in of how these glitters look. You can either get them in a container like this, or you can get them individually like this as well. Over time, these containers do crack and chip and break all over the place, especially for me because I'm not the most gentle with my supplies. So I thought I would just buy the exact same container from Walmart and repot it. That was a mistake. It broke all over again, blah, blah, blah. So I repurposed one of these uh, jewelry containers that I had originally for my split cakes that I don't like to use anymore. And uh, look how beautiful that is. It's so easy to show kids what color they can pick from from the back because the front looks real janky. But in the back, it's really easy for kids to pick. Here is how you open the container. You press the button and you lift the lid. Look how amazing that is. That's so fantastic. So it is absolutely child proof because we know kids like to touch things for themselves. They're like, oh, glitter, let me open it. And then they have all their nasty germs on your glitter and we don't want that. So this one is not only beautiful to show off your glitter, but it is child proof. But it is child proof. I'll never go back. You get, I got this one from Michaels and all the supplies that I'm talking about today, I will place the link on areas on where you can get them, purchase them. 
While we're on the topic of glitter, there is one more glitter that I want to mention, and it's called Creative Glitter Sticks by Andrea Mohi. The big difference with her glitter compared to others is that it smells amazing. Here's a closer look. You get to see her original art on the lid of many of her uh, potted glitters, and the smell is fantastic. Every single color that you buy has a different scent and they all look very different and you can also apply it directly onto paint and it doesn't smudge. For those that watch my YouTube tutorials, you'll notice I use stencils a lot. I love using stencils because I truly believe it adds a lot of texture and depth to your paint. In the very first video I did about supplies, I said, Go ahead, go ahead and get a loose leaf ring and put all your stencils there. And I did that for years and years and years. But there was one point where I had so many stencils that I, I simply couldn't find what I was looking for. I would just freak out to the point where I wouldn't even use the stencil because I simply couldn't find it and didn't have the time to find it. And I'm thinking, I need to really organize this. So I went ahead and I bought a catalog folder. This one's from Walmart. It's not my favorite, like, outlooking the little box on the outside. You can get a plain one, but they didn't have any. Here is the inside of how it looks. You can see all of the categories. I have um, animal print, fancy, stars, unicorn, action booster, and it has 100% changed the way I've used stencils. Now it is so easy to find what I'm looking for, and doing it in a very, very short time frame versus going from one stencil to another, trying to find the one that I'm looking for. In this case, it's all organized. I know exactly what I'm looking for. I would say out of everything I mention, I would say most definitely invest in one of these, and they're, they're pretty cheap. Paint brushes can be pretty difficult to buy. You don't really know what works, you don't know what works for your style, and it can be a little bit difficult. In the very first video, I did mention about Protégé that you can get on Amazon, but the price has changed, and I have met other brushes that I truly love so much more than that Protégé kit. One of the brands of brushes that I'm telling you I recommend, they are the most amazing teardrop brushes I have ever used in my life, are Lux Swirl by Paint Pal. You can buy them in a set of three or you can buy one, but look how slick these are. They're nice and gold and they're a plastic handle instead of wood. These brushes are partnered with Lo Cornell, so if you love Lo Cornell, you're going to love this one. The big difference with these compared to buying the actual Lo Cornell brand is Lo Cornell has wood handles and they chip over time and it can really easily look old very, very fast. Because these are plastic, they're never going to chip on you and they're gold. Absolutely beautiful, I'm telling you. If you're going to buy brushes, if you don't know what to buy, Lux Swirl by Paint Pal, round three, four, and five. Beautiful. The next thing we're going to talk about is bling and gems. I personally do not make bling for my face painting, but I do bring gem boxes with me to work. I have talked about extensively in another video about where I buy my gems, how I organize them, and I will place the link in the description box below and on a card up here as well. I did use this box for quite some time, but I found it too big. It took up too much space on my table, and I just thought it's really distracting towards kids. They're like, they want to pick all their gems and touch everything, and I'm like, I don't really like this. So. I thought I would place a lot of these gems just in a smaller container, just like how it is here. And it's very small, compact. You can probably put this in your back pocket or like in your purse or something. Yes, I do bring both boxes to work, but I only place this one on the table. And when we talk about gems and glitter, it's so important to buy the proper glue. I have gone through a lot of different body glues, but Pink Glue by Y Body currently is my favorite. You can get a container that looks like a nail polish container or a lipstick or like lip gel applicator as well. This is how it looks. Like it literally looks like lipstick. <laughs> Just don't play on your lips because it's glue. <laughs> 
see? And that's how it looks. It really does look like a lipstick applicator. Same with this one. It really does look like nail polish and also looks kind of nasty, but it's a little bit older. And I'm showing you guys with uh, no embarrassment. <laughs> Again, this glue is called Pink Glue by Y Body because we know kids get sweaty. They jump in pools. Over time, their face gets filled with oils, but they really want to keep that gem on their face all day. That's why I use pink glue. We are almost done with the supplies we're going to mention. The next one is a little bit more about organization. I bought this lunchbox at Ross. I don't know when you watch this video if it'll still be at Ross, so I'll place the link in the description box below on where you can find yours. And you're like, why is daddy talking about a lunchbox? Like, anyone can buy a lunchbox. Blah, 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 blah. Well, you know what? This lunchbox is where I place all of my loose glitters, a, 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 a color here and there, all of my loose split cakes, this is spray bottles, extra, all of this nonsense because little corotos here and there get all over the place and you end up losing it. If you put them all in one location, it's very easy to find. I like this lunchbox because it has a flat base. It's small with very cute handles. And then when you open it, you're getting the full surface area, okay? It's wide. You can find things, unlike a purse, you know, where it becomes a black hole and you don't know what you're looking for. You can add a lot of things in this specific lunchbox, like everything I mentioned. All of the split cakes, all of the glitter, glue, more glitter, my stencils, more, I don't know what that is, brush bath, because we all need some brush bath. And you can apply it all in here, place it on your table if you want, so you know exactly where everything is. And of course, you can organize it a little bit better so it's easier to find things. But this has been one of the best boxes I've ever bought when it comes to face painting. While we are talking about organization, when we have our wipes, right? They get thrown on the table on the floor, in our face paint kit, and it can be an absolute mess. And your clients are gonna judge you and they're gonna say, yeah, her face painting is good, but look at that table, ay Dios mio, it looks really bad. It looks dirty, unsanitary, blah, blah, blah. And you tell yourself, you know what? Yes, I'll place all my wipes in a plastic bag and everything is gonna be fine. But it never happens like that, guys. You're like, yeah, 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 but it never happens. So I'm gonna mention this, and you're like, Gabby, what is this? If I just remove this little thingy, it turns into a compactable trash can. This is called like a, a car trash can or something. But I place all of my wipies in here on top of my table, not under my table, not attached to the side. I put it straight on top of my table and no one knows what it is. It looks slick, it's black, it's inconspicuous and I truly like it. You can add your dirty wipes, you can add your dirty sponges, you can add whatever, whatever other trash you accumulate. But this trash can is only for you. You don't want kids lollipop sticks or their snot rags in here, guys. This is only for you. And again, I love how it's compactable because as a face painter, we want to work smarter and not harder and not carry bulky things with us every single day to work. I want to save the best for last. My absolute best investment I have ever made as a face painter. And that is a mirror. I'm not going to show you this side of the mirror because it's going to reflect everything. And I don't, you know, my studio ain't that nice. So we'll just bring it like this. And if you look at it, it comes with a very nice stand. It's a very fancy looking mirror. And let me go ahead and explain why you need this mirror. Not because why you want it but because why you need it. This is always going to be stationary on my table. And we know when we finish painting a kid, we show them the mirror and they just stare at themselves and stare and stare and stare. And they do not leave your chair because they're so infatuated with themselves. And the people in line are like, when is it gonna be my turn? Now it is very hard for face painters to be rude and you're gonna be like, like give me that mirror back. <laughs> you know? 
So what I always tell kids, what I always tell kids is saying, hey, you look amazing. You know what? There's another mirror right in front of the table if you want to go ahead and look at yourself. This way you're being incredibly kind, you're being considerate, but you're also letting the next person in line come and sit on your chair. And so will forever be stationary. Again, it's heavy duty. It is a bit hard to move. It's not heavy or anything, but um, it also looks very, very professional on your table as well versus just having like some handheld mirrors that anyone can easily take, run with, break it, and then now you no longer have a mirror. Because we also know as face painters, kids are going to come back to stare at their faces and they will take the mirror off your table and they will look at themselves and they will take it and they will probably end up breaking it. No one wants that. So having a stationary mirror is one of the best investments I've ever made. I'm never going back and I take that with me absolutely everywhere I go. Hopefully these little part two of supplies was helpful. You're definitely going to see a difference in your face painting work or at least in your organization as a whole. I want to say thank you to everyone that has watched this video through and do not forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell so that you never miss any videos that we post here on our YouTube channel. That is it for this video. I will see all of you guys next time. Bye-bye.